This is Scarlett, say good morning. Look at my new ponytail. I just started putting her hair in a little ponytail. How cute is that little sprout on top of her head? I'm dying. Good morning, baby. I can't remember if I showed you guys this or not, but Scarlett got in her new big girl car seat, and this is the Graco Forever All-in-One, I think is what it's called. Um, so yeah, we're really liking it, and she seems to like it a lot better too. There's actually four different ways you can use this car seat. You can use this as an infant, um, you can use this like her size, you can use this as a booster with a high back, or you can use it as a backless booster. So this is the only car seat we are going to need from here on out, and I'm really excited. I love the look of it, and it was really easy to install. I love that it has cup holders too, um, because I can put snacks in here for her. So, really liking it, aren't we? <laughs> we are heading, do I need to get gas? Um, we are heading to my old gym. I'm really excited to go. Um, I used to go there up until I was 37, 38 weeks pregnant, no like 37 weeks pregnant, because um, I had Scarlett when I was 38 weeks pregnant. But um, I am going back to re-enroll, because I have tried doing at-home workouts, I have tried walking, and it's just not the same satisfaction for me as going to a gym. And now that Scarlett's a little bit older, um, they actually, they have a daycare um, that they do run at certain times, and I feel comfortable now potentially leaving her in the daycare and getting like a 45 to an hour minute workout in so um, I'm really excited about this they also have classes there they do a spin class and I'm really interested in that um, so if you guys have done a spin class before let me know down below if you guys liked it okay so I did not work out but I got all signed up for everything um, we like to her the kid zone is what it's called and I really like it. I think it's going to um, work for Scarlett. It makes me nervous because there's other bigger kids and I'm like, what if they push her down or what if they kick her or punch her or something? I'm like, I don't know, I think of all these things. <laughs> I'm just like, what if she gets hurt? Um, but at the same time, I think this is gonna be really good for her and really good for myself. Um, I think this is going to help expose her to new things and I, I do believe that daycare can be a very positive thing, even though this isn't really a daycare. And I'm probably overreacting for nothing. I'm sure if you guys take your kids to daycare, you're like, wow, Caitlin needs to like take a chill pill and calm down. But for those of you who have never left your baby, you know exactly what I'm talking about. This is the first time, because I left her, I ended up leaving her in the kids zone after I toured it so I could finish filling out paperwork and stuff. But this is the very first time I have left Scarlett with anybody I didn't trust, like with somebody I didn't trust, with a stranger. So, that was big for me. And they were like, you should go work out now. And I'm just like, you know what, I can't, this is too much. I'm a little overwhelmed with like signing up and leaving Scarlett and I don't know, it was just too much. <laughs> so I said I was gonna come back later and read over the classes and I will be back. Anxiety is like up to here the very first time you leave your baby with a stranger. But anyways, rant over. I'm really excited to start this up and just start living a little bit more of an active life. Um, so if you guys have any words of encouragement for me or advice, let me know. Hi. I have... So my go-to drink at Starbucks is an iced coffee with extra ice and cream and sugar and, um, or cream and sweet, yeah, sweetened. Um, but I wanna try and healthier an option. So if you guys have a recommendation for something similar to that, um, something other than the cream and the sugar, <laughs> so pretty much just a black coffee. But no, if you guys have like a recommendation for a healthier Starbucks drink, leave it down below because I am looking for something that tastes similar to this, but it's a lot better for you. We are eating some breakfast. And I'm over here planning out my schedules. Um, 
for classes. I think I'm gonna go to one tonight at 5.15. It's called an RPM class, wait. Yeah, I'm gonna go to that one. It's called RPM and it's a cycling class. So I'm gonna go try that out tonight. Um, and then I'm over here making breakfast. I've been thinking about trying just a regular iced coffee with coconut milk, but I don't know. I always get so scared to, or, whoa. I always get so scared to change up my coffee because I'm like, what if I don't like it? What if I don't want that? And then I'm like disappointed the rest of the day because my coffee was awful. Do you want some more of these? Is that what you want? No, you don't want that? Are you ready to get out and play? You wanna play? Or do you want your sippy cup? I think you're ready to play. And she just started using this one to drink herself, so it's been really nice. We really like it. Okay, you guys, I wanted to show you this new tea that I got in from a company called Teamy, and this is the Alive. And I'm really liking this tea because this helps give me some energy. It kind of has like a spicy sweetness. Um, it's, it tastes really good. So I always add a spoonful of honey too because I do like sweet tea. Um, and then I also really need to organize this. I also got this Teamy Relax in, and this is a loose a loose leaf tea and then this one's also loose leaf but it comes in little baggies um, this one is a little bit more like I don't know it's not fruity so that's what I'm trying to say but this helps relax you at night it can help calm like an upset stomach um, it can help with like menstrual cramps so I'm really excited about that um, I definitely like the taste of this one better just because I have more of a sweet taste. Okay, so the Teamy Alive that I'm going to drink today, um, the ingredients are right there. It's honey, lemongrass, green tea, and then it contains plant-based caffeine. So, and then it does recommend um, to add stevia or honey to make it a little bit sweet. So, yep, I'm going to make some now. Also, before I forget, if you guys are interested in trying any of this out for yourself, I do have a discount code. I'll list it down below, um, but the discount code is just my first name, C-A-I-T-L-Y-N, Caitlin. Anyways, I have some water because I do not have a tea kettle. I have some water I just boiled, and I am going to make a tea. I have... Where is it? What are you doing, Scarlett? Scarlett's over here on her walker eating some puffs. Hi, baby. She just woke up from a nap. It is about 12 o'clock right now. Um, but in here, this is the um, this is the cute little bottle that you can make your tea in. So this little lid just so this lid just comes off, and then this little piece inside comes out, and then it's actually. And it makes it really easy to clean because this piece comes out as well. So I am going to not do the relax because I would love to relax, but not right now. I'm going to do the Teamy Alive to give me some extra energy. Now I'm gonna let this steep for about five to 10 minutes and then I'm gonna add a little bit of honey and enjoy my Teamy. So good, very good. Anyways, Scarlett's done eating. Dropped your sippy cup. Here you go. There you go. And I am going to get some work done. I have a interview call in like 30 minutes for um, a potential partnership, which I'm excited about, but I'm not gonna share with you guys yet because I don't wanna jinx them. Um, but yeah, I gotta do that. I don't know. I'm gonna have to, I was hoping I could plan it out so she would be down for a nap, but she won't be. Um, so I'm gonna have to, she keeps dropping it. I'm gonna have to distract her, so I might just turn the TV on um, during my call. And hopefully that'll work. And then the rest of the afternoon, we'll get her down for another nap, and then tonight, oh my gosh, she dropped it again. Tonight, I'm going to go to that spin class at 5.15, and I'm going to leave Scarlett for the first time at the kid zone, so we should see how it goes. Okay, I'm on this conference call for this company I was telling you guys about. Listen to this song. This is literally a song about being on hold. Like it's this 
random song talking about not wanting to be on hold all day. <laughs> it's so funny. Anyways, I need to focus. Um, Scarlett's over here playing with her diapers. So hopefully she lets me take this. We will see. You guys, <laughs> send help. Why are you sitting on hangers? Are you playing in the hangers? So we are going through her closet and taking out everything that does not fit anymore. And these are all the hanger aftermath. And all the clothes that are on the floor are things that she's outgrown, but I want to keep. Oh, and it's just about nap time. Oh, really? What were you trying to say? You see, I'm getting sleepy. Oh, your toes in the hangers. That's kind of fun. That's kind of fun. You guys, no joke. I was just, um, as you saw, dealing with that mess in Scarlett's room. And as I'm like going through her clothes, she crawls over to her crib and she goes, or she like pulls herself up on her crib and she starts saying, nine, 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 night. You guys, like, oh my God. It was the cutest thing ever. And I just stopped what we were doing and put her to bed because she was telling me she needed to go to bed. I don't know, that was just like the first time I actually like she communicated with me and I I don't I don't know it sounds weird I fully understood what she was saying like she was saying she wanted to go night night and so I was able to recognize that I don't know if that makes sense but I don't know I'm just like in a little bit of shock like I feel like I just had a conversation with my daughter you guys look what we just got in it's a new slumberkin, so how cute is that? I hope Scarlett loves it as much as she loves her other one because that thing is getting really gross. But I just love how these are packaged. Okay, so I'm gonna open this one and this guy's name is Maple. The white one Scarlett has with the lilac color, um, her name is actually Lilac, so we have the maple and lilac now, and this time we got the plush and not the ultra plush, so this is actually a different material. Um, they say that these are better for teething babies because the fibers don't can't get pulled out as easy because the other one has like longer hair, so um, we'll see. We actually never had that issue, but I do know some reviews say that. Um, but these are how they're packaged. How cute is that? And these, um, they say these are cuddly creatures with intention. These are designed with intention to promote positive life skills. So I don't know if you guys were aware of this or not, but each of the slumberkins, there's actually a couple of different animals and um, there's like a shark, there's a fox, there, this is the sloth, but each one actually represents, it's created with a unique theme and promotes positive attachment. Um, this one is supposed to represent relaxation, hence the slumber sloth, um, but yeah, they're really cool, and I love the message that these actually have behind them, so if you guys are looking for like a lovey or something for your baby, I can't recommend these products enough um, because if you guys watch my channel, you obviously know how much Scarlett loves her other one. So um, I'm really excited to give this to her and to see if she likes this one as much as she likes her other one. Um, we shall see. Scarlett, I would like you to meet Maple. This is Maple. What do you think of him? I know he's not Lilac, but you need to learn to love him just like you love Lilac. She's like, yeah, this is not my slumberkins. Careful. What do you think of him? Nope. <laughs> so I think it's gonna take some time for them to get acquainted. But this is a nice new clean one. Yes. Yes, don't give him to Indy, he's yours. He's your new slumberkins. A new clean one. Okay, okay, you ready to go work out? Okay, you guys. <laughs> Oh, Scarlett's right here, we're in the car. I typically, after like we get in the car and it's been sitting out in the heat, I let her sit in the front with me to get some air while it cools off. But I just got out of that spin class that I was going to and I look like a hot mess. Did you think mama wasn't coming back? What are you pointing at? Anyways, she lasted about 30 minutes in the daycare before they had to come get me because she was crying. So I, I got majority of my class done, but there was still about 15 minutes left of it. Wow. You guys, that was quite the workout though. I am so completely out of shape, it's insane. Um, hello, why were you crying? Why did you cry? Did you just wanna see mommy? I'm gonna end the vlog right here so I can get her in the car and go get her some dinner. 
yeah we'll try this again tomorrow and we'll see how she does with the daycare but other than that we will see you guys in our next video make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you guys enjoyed it also make sure to subscribe if you are new and follow us on snapchat and instagram we will see you guys in our next vlog bye guys bye.